Welcome back, everybody. It's time for today's comedian. Please put your hands together for Amy T. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you very much. I am excited to be here, very much so. Um, I'm very excited. I'm at a fantastic point in my life right now. In two weeks, I'm going to be celebrating two years of sobriety, which I'm very excited about. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I had a lot of mixed signals about drinking, though, because they say that you know a glass of wine a day is great for the heart. Well, at the time, I used to smoke, so I doubled up on the wine so I could cancel out the Newports, and uh, that didn't go so well at all. But. Uh, it, one of the big signals that I knew I had to quit drinking was because my friends were driving my car more than I was. Uh, I, uh, I did what everybody's supposed to do. I went to AA two weeks into quitting drinking. I went to my uh, first and only AA meeting. And uh, I remember being very nervous and anxious and timid walking in. And it was packed. It was like 90, 100 people. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sneak in the back and observe for the night. And honest to God, I don't think I was there 30 seconds and the only other dyke in the room comes running over to me. <laughs> and so she goes to introduce herself. She's like, hi, I'm Marsha. And I'm like, hi, I'm Amy. She goes, Amy T, I know. Oh my God, I've seen you perform in Boston a bunch of times. I've seen you on TV. I'm such a huge fan. Da -da 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 -da. I was like, hey, Marsha, it's Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> not anonymous because I just told the world her name. But anyways, uh, it's good to be sober. I, uh, I also had my aha moment about a week ago, you know, like when just something just clicks. Every year for the, the seniors at the high school that I graduate, they always invite me in to come in and do a, a show for them for project graduation. So I'm standing backstage behind the, the curtain in the auditorium and I'm pacing back and forth, going through my set in my head. And then all of a sudden they open up the curtains, they announce my name and I walk out and that's when it clicked. And I looked out at a sea of like 300 season, see, uh, seniors and I was like, oh my God, I graduated the year they were born. <laughs> Right? And that just messed with my head because these, these kids weren't even old enough to remember the Britney Madonna kiss, which is epic, you know what I mean? And I'm like, when the hell did I become this old, you know what I mean? Because my mom still buys my tampons, you know what I mean? I've never, ever bought a box of my own tampons. And I'm like, wow, I mean, because look at me, I basically look like a boy and what guy likes to buy tampons, you know? And I'm like, what am I going to do? So now I'm backpedaling in my head. I'm like, what am I going to talk to these kids about, you know? And I couldn't talk to them about drinking because they're going to laugh at me, you know? And then I knew I couldn't talk to them about sex and relationships because they were already had. And one girl had two toddlers sitting with her right in the front row. <laughs> so I'm thinking, my head's spinning, and I'm like, what can I talk to them about? I'm like, I know what I'll talk to them about. I'll talk to them about things that they know, prescription drugs. <laughs> they're all on them, Lexapro, Adderall, Concerta, right? I'm like, this is something I know. Because right around the time that I got, uh, I got sober, I also was diagnosed bipolar which has been the greatest gift that's had ever been given to me in my entire life. I'm telling you, every day I wake up and it's like Christmas morning. I'm telling people, bipolar is the new black. You need to get on board. It is awesome. It is so awesome. Oh, I love it. And if you're not familiar with bipolar, bipolar is a mood disorder, which basically every day I wake up and I have, I wake up partly crabby with a 75% chance of mood swings every single day. And, and the lot, there's a lot of stereotypes and stigmas that go along with this mental illness. And uh, I had a woman come up to me after my show one time, and she's like, Amy T, are you really bipolar? And I go, yes. She goes, wow, you look pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy, not stupid. Um, and I was also diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, which is a lot of fun, because if somebody's like, Amy, and I'm like, Amy who? And I just look around. <laughs> but one of the characteristics about borderline personality disorder is, is manipulative. And I don't like that. I like to call it clever. <laughs> uh, I think if I invite you over my house and ask you to help me with a do-it-yourself pro project, you can bet your ass you're going to be doing it yourself. And now I use my mental illness for every chance I get. Like, I, I think it, I, the glass is always half full. So if somebody will ask me, like, oh, Amy T, can you help me move this weekend? I'm like, I don't think so. That could trigger a swing. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amy T. We'll be right back right after this.